See, basically, I think uh, what I am, uh, what I was told is the uh, significance of MSMEs, MSMEs and uh, incentives available to them. Uh, that's the topic that is uh, going to be uh, handled by me. Uh, before that, let me tell you, uh, I think I'm, I'm sure that uh, you will be aware of the uh, entire uh, institutional structure as far as MSME is concerned. Can I ask some, at least one of you to say, what is the full form of MSMEs? But micro, small and medium enterprises. Basically, you know, it, was, it is a recent introduction. In fact, it is only in 2006, a MSME Development Act was passed by the government to replace the small scale industries. Earlier it was small scale industries and small business services. So you can understand the importance or the critical role that is being played by the uh, sector for development of the country. Already Mr. Mehta has already given you the statistical disposition of the uh, sector in terms of employment, in terms of production, in terms of exports and also the various other factors you know, which are responsible for the economic development through industrialization. In fact, the government has given so much of priority to this sector, it has set up a separate ministry itself. Earlier, you know, it used to be working as part of the Ministry of Industry, but later on during the Janata uh, ministry's time, they found that it is better that give focus on this. And a country like a vast country like, the, like us, we require a regionally balanced growth, particularly from the industrial point of view. India is an agro-based agro country, you know, agri uh, agricultural economy is the largest economy that is working for the country, when, which provides for a lot of uh, development. But the other sector, just, to agri just after agriculture, it is the small-scale industries and a micro and small enterprises which is contributing to the country. Now, again, under the micro, small enterprises, small and medium enterprises, a lot of segregations have been done. You will find that recently, you know, you, if you have been going through the financial papers, you will find, you must have, uh, uh, you must have uh, been reading regularly something, a term known as uh, financial inclusion. Say financial inclusion and microcredit. These are the buzzwords today for development of the uh, country in terms of industrialization. In fact, a lot of uh, developments also have been uh, done uh, uh, for this purpose.